Thanks for letting me stay here. What's I gonna do? Leave you doing a porn to pay for a motel room? Bobby! Bob! Guess who's not here? These are his crazy wife, thank God. Then I guess it's just you and me. Mom, don't be so hard on yourself. Not hard enough, Star. Hearing Jack talk like that and being so harmless, it must have been a shock. I, it wouldn't have been if I had been paying attention. But I ignored all the signs. What kind of signs? That nice, spirited, mischievous little boy was turning into something darker, harder, e even dangerous. Mom, I know that you're worried about it. No, I should be worried about Shane right now. And poor Gigi. I don't even know if she knows where he is. You know what? I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her and see if there's something that I can do. Are you do. sure that that's a good idea? I don't know, sweetheart. Jack isn't taking responsibility. Somebody has to. I didn't take a good look when I was here before. It's nice. Yeah? Well, compared to that skeevy motel room, anything's nice. Have you been living here ever since you came to Landview? Yeah. I was lucky Bobby let me move in even after I ran off with my dad's money. <sighs> Still can't believe I did that. I guess after you dumped me, I went a little crazy. James, about that, there's some stuff you need to know about why we broke up. Now. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Gigi's not taking my call. So, to confirm that you want to delete the account, you click Y. This box right here? Yeah. It's right there? Mm hmm. Done. So, it's completely deleted. Bye bye, my face. I just can't believe. I can't believe all those things that he posted. All those nasty things that he said about Shane for so long, for, for weeks. My gosh, what, why would Jack feel that he needed to taunt that boy like that, Star? I don't know. I should have been checking on him. You know what? You weren't even friends with Jack on my face. You had no access. I was. I could have seen what he was posting. But instead, I... I figured high school drama, who wants to deal with that again? So if you were going to blame yourself for not knowing what was going on, you have to blame me too. Star, I'm his mother. It was up to me, not you. I dropped the ball. Okay, well, now that you know the whole story, you're not running from it. You're doing something. I don't even know if it will do any good. Why would you say that? Jack's not sorry. He's not sorry. Either he doesn't know what he did was wrong, he doesn't care. No, but you don't understand. No, I do. Danny, you were very clear. Just like I'm being very clear about how things are right now. Star and I are together. Maybe Jack feels worse than he's acting. Maybe he thinks that not being sorry is more grown up or cool or something. Maybe. It probably hasn't even sunk in for him yet. Once he thinks about what happened, he'll have to deal with it. So you think he's gonna learn something from all of this? Well, look at what happened to me. I learned from that, didn't I? Yeah, look at you. You turned out wiser than all the rest of us put together. My beautiful beautiful grown-up little girl. I don't know what I'd do without you, sweetie. I don't know. Oh, thank you. I needed that. <laughs> Anytime. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna go check and see if your brother's learned how to use that pencil, okay? Uh. <laughs> Look, I know you and Star are together, okay? I, I just don't want you to have the wrong idea about what happened to us. No, stop, stop. It, it doesn't matter, Dina. Like I said, we're, we're done. Right now, we need to think about how we're going to get you back to Dayton. Here's an extra pillow. 
Don't worry about the sheets. I can just sack out on the couch. Unless it's already taken. Yeah, that's where Bobby's sleeping. But not his wife? Don't ask her. It's complicated. So does that mean we're sharing your room? There Jack was, just standing outside, talking to his friend Brad, as if nothing was wrong. <laughs> so much for him learning a lesson. Like I said, you just have to give it some time. That's what Dad would say, right? What I wouldn't give to have your dad here right now. I know that he could get through to Jack. Because they have that special connection. I, I can't do it. I, star, I, I can't. I can't do this by myself. I, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I just want my son to grow up to be a decent man. Is that too much to ask? Yeah, sorry, uh, my room seems to be the only option. That's okay. Won't be the first time we slept in the same bed before, right? Uh, no. Uh, actually, you'll take the bed and I'll take the floor. It's finally coming back to bite me. What are you talking about with bad parenting? Would you stop? No, oh, no, Star. I've been completely selfish. Selfish and preoccupied, making bad choices with bad men, and Jack's behavior is my reward. Jack is still a kid, and there is time to straighten him out. And you want to talk about mothering? You once told me that the best thing I could do for Hope is to make her feel loved. Totally, unconditionally, forever and always, no matter what. And that's what you did for me, Mom. So don't tell me what kind of mother that you are. Because I already know.